so hello guys and welcome to my channel today again i'm back with another important numericals and machine designs and here this numerical was asked in 15 spring and here you can see a numericals on the screen the diameter of a router of a 4 kilowatt 50 hertz and two pole is given two pole and n synchronous value is given as 50 per second and induction motor is 90 and here the diameter is 98 mm and the length is 82 mm and assume one percent is radiator slip and here the slip is one percent is calculate the maximum constant and average tangential stress maximum constant sorry machine constant and average tangential stress so here we have the rated torque of motor is given as t is equals to here we have the formula p upon 1 minus s into 2 by ns so power is here as 4 kilowatts so 4 into 1000 upon 1 minus sleep is 1% uh, so 0 0.01 into 2 by ns and ns is given as 50 per second so into pp so we'll get the value of tn as 12.86 newton meters and yes i equal to pi d pi d r into l so pi into and here the value of d is 82 mm so here you can see The diameter is a 98 mm and the length is 82 mm. So 82 into 10 power minus 3 into 98 into 10 power minus. So that is going to be 0 0.0252 m meter square. Sir. And here the radius of rotor is 49 mm and hence the tangential force at the rotor surface is an average here T is equals to F10 into RR. So F10 equals to Tn upon RR. And here we have obtained the value of Tn as 12.86 to 12.86 and the value of uh, r means the radius of rotor is a uh, 49 mm it, so 49 into 10 by minus 8 it is going to 262 newtons and now average tangential stress is calculated as sigma tan equal to f10 upon sr so 262 this is f10 upon sr and we have obtained also we have also obtained the value of sr and here we have obtained sr as 0 0.0252 m meter square so it will be one so the it will be one zero four zero zero newton meter square sir. so on further simplification we will get here 262 upon 0 0.0252 so we will get here one zero four zero zero newton per meter square and the corresponding machine constant is p mechanical equals to c mechanicals in d square l dash n synchronous and this is a formula and from this we have to calculate the machine constant so c machine will be p mechanical upon d square l dash into n synchronous and p a mechanical 4 kilowatt so 4, 4 kilowatt is given in the equation so similarly d square and l dash so d a diameter is given as a, uh, 98 mm so 0 0.098 meter into meter square into l dash and value of l is 0 0.082 into n synchronous so we will get here 102 kilowatt second per meter cube and again here we have one more important numericals and this numerical is from the chapter 3 the design of magnetic circuit and this was asked in 16 fall and here you can see consider the C core inductors with n with 1 mm air gap and in the air gap the flux density is given as here 1, tens, one tesla the flux density is 1 tesla the ferromagnetic circuit length is 0 0.2 meters and the relative permeability of core materials at 1 T is, is epsilon r equal to 3500. Calculate the field strength in the air gap and the core and also magnetizing current needed. And how many tons N of wire carrying a 10 ampere direct current are needed to magnetize the choke of 1 T, 1 Tesla. So how many tons you have to calculate here? And fingering in the air gap is neglected, and the winding and the winding factor is assumed to be kilo kW equals to one here. So here the magnetic field strength in the air gap is calculated as here S del equals to B del upon a mu, mu naught. So B is given as one, and mu naught is four pi into ten power minus seven. So it will be seven ninety five kilo ampere per meter per meters. And the corresponding magnetic field strength in the core. This was for air gap, and now we are calculating for core. So for we have BFE upon mu naught into mu r. So BF equal to 1 and mu r and mu naught. Mu r is 3500. Again mu naught value will be 4.8 into minus 7. 
so it will be 2 to 7 ampere per meter now mmf of the magnetic circuit will be magnetic voltage in the air gap plus magnetic voltage in the core so for magnetic voltage in the air gap we have s del into del plus s f e upon f e so s del into del is the value of s del is 795 kilo ampere per meters and del the value of del is 0 0.01 given in the question sir and similarly here sf e we have obtained sf 227 sir here you can see we have obtained the value of s del and HFE. And here and here all the parameters given S del del SFE and F is also given. Sir. Here you can see in the questions. Here one mm air gap is given. Sir. Similarly, flux density one Tesla is given. Sir. And here the ferromagnet circuit length is 0.2 meter given in the equation. Sir. So in place of F you have 0.2 meters. Sir. So in place of F you have 0.2 meters. Sir. So here on for the simplification, we will get the value of as 840 ampere. Means the mm of magnetic circuit is 840 amperes. Now we need to calculate the value of n means how many tons means number of tons so value of n will be 840 means this value means this is mmf of the magnetic circuit upon kw into i so kw 840 into and kw is have one and in place of i means i is the current here and here you can see a current of 10 ampere is given here so here just you need to remember the formula and you can simply calculate or you can easily calculate the number of tons here sir. so on substituting all the values here kw is given as 1 i is given as 10 so we'll get here 84 tons so number of tons will be 84 tons so in this you can calculate the source type of numerical problems hope you enjoy the lectures thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you